So we've been developing gene therapy as a way to more efficiently correct the enzyme deficiency in Pompe disease. And we use a modified virus, which is a very safe virus, and we've modified it to deliver a gene to make the enzyme that's missing in the patient's cells. Uh, it's the gene for GAA. Actually, uh, the way that we've developed gene therapy, the enzyme is made exclusively in the liver, and it's made at a high level, so it'll be secreted into the blood, go to the muscles, and so it's like a continuous ERT, but the patient only needs one treatment and it should last several years based on other gene therapies. And it's worked very well in our mice with Pompe disease. So we see that uh, Pompe disease can be treated more effectively with gene therapy than with ERT. And another benefit is that uh, the particular gene therapy we've developed can prevent antibodies against the enzyme. So antibodies are a big problem for ERT. If we give our gene therapy, we can prevent those antibodies. Um, and we've studied gene therapy along with ERT because patients who would be in our first clinical trial would already be in, on ERT. And what we found in our experiments is that adding gene therapy can make ERT more beneficial. Uh, so, so even patients who are in the first gene therapy trial at a low dose might feel an additional benefit um, from receiving gene therapy. And there's, there's one more uh, tie-in here, which is we've done experiments to combine clenbuterol with gene therapy and that we find this combined treatment is even more effective. So this, this might be the future. Um, you know, we, we realize that um, treating Pompe disease effectively is, is very difficult and we need to optimize a, a therapy to, to treat it most effectively. We do propose to start our clinical trial of gene therapy in the middle of 2018. We have uh, NIH support for manufacturing the gene therapy, and we're generating, uh, we're, we're raising funds to go ahead and do the clinical trial next year.